Cinnamon Takazu here and welcome to another What The Facts video. Konnichiwa and welcome to another Mobile Legends video. Aha, I better stop that or else you guys will ask me again if I'm Japanese or not, which I'm not. Today we'll talk about two armor items that I often get asked about. These items are Brute Force Breastplate and Demon's Advent. So we'll check out their passive effects to help you decide if these items are worth putting in your build. Let's start with the Brute Force Breastplate. Okay, so it says that if you attack enemies, the passive will increase your hero's movement speed by 2% and your physical attack by 3%. And this can stack up to 4 times, resulting in 8% additional movement speed and 12% additional attack. That's a lot. And it also says that these bonuses are not permanent. It can only stay on your hero for 4 seconds after your last attack. Let's go ahead and see it in action. So I got Cho here with Brute Force Breastplate and will attack this jungle monster 4 times to activate the maximum bonus move speed and attack from its passive. Right now he has this much physical attack and move speed. Empty your cup in order to fill it again. And now after attacking the monster enough times, he has this. And it disappeared after 4 seconds of him not attacking. Now let's check if it works on skills. This is Cho's current attack and move speed. And this is after we used skill 1 3 times and ult on our punching bag gourd. So it works on skills too. So this item is pretty good for fighters as long as you keep on attacking like in team fights, you keep the bonus from it until you stop and 4 attacks isn't really hard to pull off on heroes like Cho. Now let's check out Demon's Advent. Its passive is the complete opposite of Brute Force Breastplate. This time, when a hero attacks you, their attack power gets reduced by 6% and it can stack up to 3 times, resulting in 18% attack power reduction. And this effect is also temporary and lasts 2 seconds after your enemy's attacks. Now we're gonna have Gord here take his turn on beating up Cho. Cho has Demon's Advent equipped. This is Gord's physical attack and magic power. Okay, so after attacking Cho three or more times, his Demon's Advent reduced Gord's stats to this. And it stays like that for two more seconds after Gord's last attack. What about skills? Will Demon's Advent reduce Gord's stats if he only uses skill attacks on Cho? Nope. So this item only works if the enemy is doing basic attacks on you while you have Demon's Advent. It's nice to have if you want to reduce the attack of enemy marksmen who are hitting you endlessly and you just want to lower down their attack so they can't kill you. 18% physical and magic reduction is a lot, especially in the late game. So I hope this helps you decide if you want to use these items or not. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. And again, my name is Shinmin Takzo and I'll see you in the next video. Peace! <laughs> oh. I only caught you in its hell.